Reflect upon many challenges of our community and have faced throughout our community's history. While we celebrate, we also celebrate our many accomplishments. We would not be at the country today if it's if it's not without the contribution of Asian Canadian. And I'm proud that despite all our faults, Canada remains a beacon of hope and heaven of multiculturalism and inclusiveness in today's uncertain world. For the reminder of this month, I encourage you all, despite your background, to celebrate the Asian, Canadian Asian residents and success by participating in local cultural celebrations such as this one. My friend, I would like to thank the Canadian Innovative Community Service Alliance for organizing this wonderful festival. And I wish you all a wonderful Asian Heritage Month. And don't forget, in June 23rd, we will be celebrating, I would say, we will be marks the remembrance of 100 years of Chinese Exclusion Act. Don't forget, in 100 years ago, Chinese was the only nation that was citizen or only one nation, China, that's not allowed to come into Canada. And that's 100 years ago. So, I will be with Senator Wu at the uh, Senate of Canada to mark that 100 years remembrance of Chinese Exclusion Act. So I want you all to pay attention. Please also come to Ottawa on 23rd, 24th and 25th to mark that unforgettable uh, uh, Chinese Exclusion Act. So I want to say thank you very much for all of you, the volunteers and also the uh, sponsors for this great event. Otherwise, it, it would not be possible. Today, I am very happy to be able to celebrate with you in Mississauga the Chinese Culture Festival. This festival is very important for us in Hawaii. Especially in the fifth year, it is our Yaiyi culture festival. 那么我同时呢，也在这里很很高兴的看到有这么多的华裔出来支持这个活动。那么我希望大家不要忘记，一百年前，也就是六月，一八二三年的六月二十三号，是加拿大的排华法案。下个月的二十三号就是我们的一百周年。那么我将会在渥太华举行重大的。这个排华法案纪念日，我们一定要记住，排华法案永远不能再回到加拿大，我们永远是属于这个美好的国家加拿大。谢谢大家，谢谢，谢谢胡毅。好、oh, ，I would I have a score. I would like to invite the president and、uh, Natalia and John to join me. All three three levels of government. 我觉得胡议员说的非常好哈，最好的纪念就是不要忘记，所以胡议员一直在提醒我们，不要忘记在加拿大历史上发生的事情。OK。Now I will ask. Thank you, Senator Victor Wu, for your kindness. Now we invite our MPP Kusendowa Bashata Natalia step forward and give us a few words. Well, thank you so much, and Nihao, everyone.
It is a pleasure to join you all today in my beautiful riding of Mississauga Center to celebrate the wonderful occasion of the Chinese Culture Festival of 2023. And I'm so glad that the weather turned around and we now have sunshine so that more people can come out and enjoy the beautiful festivities happening today. And President Wei Dong was telling me that all of this was made possible in just two months. And so it goes to show with hard work of the volunteers and the staff and determination, you can put a beautiful family festival together to showcase the best of Chinese Canadian culture right here in Mississauga. So I want to really thank the hardworking staff and volunteers from the CICSA, previously known as the Mississauga Mandarin Association, for putting this wonderful event together. I also want to acknowledge alongside me the dignitaries, Senator Victor O, oh, who has been a dear friend for many years and a big supporter, and as well as Councillor Ward 4, John Kovan. Thank you for joining us for this celebration. And a special thank you to President Wei Dong for inviting me to speak to the importance of this community, not just in Mississauga, but across the province of Ontario. The Chinese community is an integral part of Ontario's fabric and plays a vital role in our province's social and economic growth. The Chinese community in Ontario consists of nearly 1 million people, with nearly 16,000 living here in Mississauga in our thriving city. Such a vibrant and strong community. Mississauga Center would not be the same without you. And I am proud to support an organization that pr promotes the strong diversity of our city. And I have to say, this month we are also celebrating the month of May as, as South Asian History Month. And you know what? At the same time, we are also celebrating May as Polish Heritage Month. So you know what? This is exactly what Canada and Ontario is about. I myself am an individual with Polish roots and I'm very proud of them. But it gives me such great joy that I can share the month of May as Polish Heritage Month also with many vibrant communities, including the Chinese Canadian community. So this is what the spirit of Ontario is. This is what Canada is all about. And of course, Mississauga, one of the most multicultural and diverse cities in all of Canada. And lastly, I want to conclude by saying that last year I was here and I met this incredible organization. It's called Pink for Alzheimer's. I don't think they're present here today, but this organization of young uh, Chinese Canadians uh, put efforts together to uh, to go and play ping pong with seniors in our retirement homes uh, to combat Alzheimer's and combat dementia with physical activity. And I've been working with them for the past year, uh, and I will be actually putting forward a private members bill on dementia, working together and using ideas from this beautiful organization. It's called Pink for Alzheimer's. There are some athletes there that represented Ontario. So I'm just so blessed uh, to be the representative for Mississauga Center where we have such thriving communities. Thank you so much for inviting me today and I really look forward to tasting some of the amazing food here and also uh, looking at the beautiful art. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natalia. I, I, I think she has the point. The best way to celebrate, just have food together. 